हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर अमित भटनागर वर्किंग एज सीनियर रिसर्च ऑफिसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एग्नॉमी एट जीबी पंत यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पंत नगर उत्तराखंड इन जनरल इन एग्जामिनेशन सम एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ क्रॉप्स आर आस्ड सो विच क्रॉप इज रिलेटेड टू विच एग्जाम्पल एंड वट इज द पर्पज ऑफ द क्रॉप एंड डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन आर आस्ड विद द पर्पज और द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द क्रॉप एंड यूजफुल नॉस ऑफ द क्रॉप सो देर आर डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ क्रॉप एंड हेयर I have written four type of crop: restorative crop, exhaustive crop, falling crop, and cleaning crop. So, what are these four types of crops? In general, in examinations, these questions are asked, and what are the examples, and what are the uh, we can say advantage or uh, disadvantage, and the features of these type of crops. So, first one is restorative crops. So, as the name indicate, restore. To restore means enrich. If anything is lost, then to make it again to enrich the soil or ameliorate the soil so it the name indicate restorative so these crops enrich the soil enrich the soil how they enrich the soil definitely they enrich the soil by the nutrient addition or may may uh, reduce the runoff or may reduce the soil loss or soil erosion may reduce soil erosion and may add organic matter add organic matter into the soil and may increase the microbial activity so if a crop is grown in the field and it has any such type of activity that it enrich in the soil for example nitrogen fixation so pulse crop legume crops have biological nitrogen fixation and smoother crop cover crop they reduce the soil erosion similarly these pulse legume crop add the organic matter into the soil and as the nitrogen is increased organic matter is increased leaf fall is there microbial activity is increased so there is more organic matter content more mineralization decomposition more availability of the nutrient so in this way soil is restored with respect to nutrient content with respect to organic matter content with respect to microbial activity and microbial activity is must without microbial activity we cannot expect any nutrient release so microbial activity is must into the soil without microbes soil is barren there is no meaning of soil without microbes so this soil also help in increasing microbial activity and the examples are the legume crops so legumes are the restorative crop because they have biological nitrogen fixation that's why they in, they increase the nitrogen content in soil they have very good leaf fall and uh, that side they add the organic matter they have close canopy so that side they act as a smoother crop and reduces the weed infestation and also reduces the uh, soil erosion because of deep root system close canopy and they reduce the wind velocity impact falling rain drop impact so legumes have many advantages that's why they are considered as a restorative crop for example moong moong Urd, these are the restorative crop cowpea. So there are many uh, pulse crop, legume crop which are grown in the field. So when we grow such type of crop, definitely there is enrichment in soil. So that's why they are called restorative. So they re restore the soil fertility. So soil fertility is important parameter for the productivity. So in uh, overall, their impact is increase in soil. fertility so they they help in increasing the soil fertility overall we can say and this is the major factor in deciding the crop growth and productivity so that's why uh, this restorative crop legume crop should be included in the crop rotation another is the exhaustive crop exhaustive means to use anything so uh, that's why this exhaustive crop use the more nutrient from the soil and they deplete the soil fertility so when we grow such type of crops there is reduction in soil fertility so soil fertility is decreased when we grow the such type of soil soil fertility decreases reduction in soil fertility why there is reduction in uh, uh, soil fertility because they have more uptake of uh, nutrient more uptake of nutrients so that's why soil fertility is reduced so that's why these uh, crops are called exhaustive crops they exhaust the soil 
with respect to nutrients. So soil fertility is reduced. There is reduction and decline in soil fertility. So when we grow a crop uh, continuously, the so soil uh, become uh, poor in available nutrient and organic matter and uh, overall crop growth and productivity become poor and profit become less. So such type of crops are exhaustive because they have more uptake of nutrient and for example mage mage it has very uh, huge biomass and more uptake of nutrient mage uh, jar so these are the uh, exhaustive crops similarly cereals actually cereals uh, uh, have more uptake of nutrient and their addition uh, in to the soil through organic matter is very less because almost all the material or all the biomass is used by the uh, human for economic purpose so they use the nutrient and there is no addition of organic matter very little addition of organic matter that's why if we grow the soya cereal over the years then soil uh, fertility become poor if we are suppose uh, we are taking a cereal cereal cropping system cereal cereal for example rice wheat cropping system so both crop are exhaustive means both crop require more application of nutrient it means we have to use more amount of nutrients more amount of fertilizer they require more amount of fertilizer while restorative crop require less amount of fertilizer because they have already have ability uh, to uh, fix the nitrogen and their requirement is low while in case of cereal cereal exhaustive crop they have more uh, requirement of nutrient that's why we uh, supply the nutrient through uh, fertilizers so cereal cereal if you are taking the rice uh, wheat or uh, maize or jowar such type of crops pearl millet definitely soil become poor in soil fertility because they have more uptake of nutrient so if we are but the cereals are staple food we have to grow and we grow crop in crop rotation so how we can overcome the impact of exhaustive crop so these crops should be grown in the rotation so if we are growing the exhaustive crop then after exhaustive crop we should grow a legume crop or we should grow a uh, restorative crop between the exhaustive crop so a good uh, system may be uh, exhaustive crop then grow the restorative crop or uh, then there is a, then we maintain this system exhaustive crop followed by restorative crop then soil fertility is maintained so well when we make a good cropping system we should consider both the crop restorative and exhaustive crops so that's why legume inclusion in cereal cereal cropping system is must because legumes are restorative crops then falling crops falling crops are those crops uh, which cultivation practices leave uh, the uh, high weed infestation or any unwanted thing foul means unwanted thing so falling means it means uh, if we grow the crops so uh, cultural practices are such that they create unwanted uh, uh, conditions or unwanted things unwanted things a major is the weeds so if we grow such type of crops there is more infestation of weeds in general when we grow the crop we use uh, uh, hand breeding hoeing intercultivation herbicide etc to control the weeds but in such type of crops weed problem is more when we grow such type of crop weed infestation is very high so that's why these crops are called falling crop for example direct seeded rice in case of direct seeded rice means direct sowing of rice the weed infestation is very high that's why we have to use more herbicides to control the weeds so in general cultivation practices are such that they allow the weed infestation because there is no tillage seed uh, rice is directly sown there is no uh, puddling no transplanting no maintenance of water in the field so that's why this condition create favorable uh, situation for the weed growth so when there is a direct seeded rice weed infestation is high so when we use the direct seeded rice the use of herbicide is must so without herbicide use direct seeded rice will give very very less yield so such crops are called falling crop where uh, any unwanted thing is created and this major unwanted thing in agriculture is the weed because they uh, create the maximum uh, loss in the yield so uh, falling crop uh, unwanted particularly weeds then cleaning crop in case of clean crop cultivation practices are such that field remain clean the continuous intercultivation is required for example earthing is required so uh, they they keep the field clean so there is no crop residue during the intercultivation so field is clean so if we are using the earthing we are putting the um, 
soil and uh, using the soil for earthing purpose then soil be uh, then field become clean for example potato potato uh, is a cleaning crop because earthing is required so field remain clean so when we see potato field a uh, very good ridge and furrow system is there and and the ridge and cleans are very clean because there con there is continuous uh, intercultivation is there so that's why there is no weeds and soil is turned so weed growth is less and field is seen very clean so intercultivation uh, practices are done which keep the field clean so potato is very good example for example in case of maize earthing is done so in initial stage at knee high stage earthing is done and uh, by the earthing weeds are removed and field become clean so these are the clean uh, crop so when we are using the uh, formulating a good cropping system we should follow uh, this uh, system if we are growing the falling crop it should be practiced or followed by cleaning crop because if we growing direct seed rise there is high weed infestation if we are using any cleaning crop like potato then the weed biomass or weed uh, density is reduced so in cropping system falling crop should be followed by cleaning crop as in case of uh, exhaustive crop as exhaustive crop is followed by a restorative crop similarly if we are growing any fouling crop it should be followed by cleaning crop so in one season we are growing the direct seed rise then ne next season we should grow those crop which require frequent intercultivation where uh, uh, earthing is required frequent intercultivation is required so that field is clean and uh, weed infestation is less so that's why uh, these are different type of uh, crops and uh, they should be in rotation so restored crop uh, inclusion is must so that soil fertility is maintained and cleaning crop inclusion is must so that weed infestation is low so uh, since all the crops are must because each crop has uh, its own relevance on uh, importance we cannot uh, skip rice we cannot skip wheat we cannot skip uh, maize so all the crops are required all seeds are required cereals are required sugar crops are required but if we are using a good cropping system a good uh, crop rotation in a sequence then we can maintain the soil fertility as well as we can control the weeds so that's why sequence and very good cropping system is must we should consider such type of crops in the crop rotation so these are the different uh, type of crop with the example and their features thank you very much